What's popping, y'all? So, um, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this video without laughing. I already was laughing my ass off in my last video, and then I already fucked up my lashes and my makeup and shit. So, um, I already seen the thumbnail, and I want to know why would he post the thumbnail looking like that? So, um, we're gonna, um, we're gonna listen to the story about his date, um, uh, going on a date. Okay. <laughs> I got my LeBron head. I gotta keep my got my LeBron head band on. Bro, listen to me. Bro. I'm gonna keep this on for you. <coughs> Let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. I've been good spiritually. Like I do <coughs> I haven't really been giving a fuck up. I don't have to. I don't have to care about how I look up here no more. Like, I ain't gotta worry about no retwists, no ponytails, no extra. You know, the the getting tapers and shit. I don't have to worry about none of that. I'm just free. I could take showers like a white nigga. Now, you know, I'm taking showers, wet my hair every day. Feel like I'm feel like a white boy now. I know how y'all feel, Billy and Rudolph. Know how y'all feel. But listen. <laughs> Who the fuck is Rudolph? <laughs> used to having to try to pull a bitch they normally just worship me put my whole image and instagram to the side if they don't know me bro they ain't that attracted to bald head niggas <coughs> getting treated so different now my baby i feel like y'all bit how they just took the instagram likes off and bitches feel you know the bitches gonna die down the instagram likes go away they ain't gonna feel important you know they power level gonna start dropping Bro, this is how I felt. Like, far as me within, my power level, I feel like a god. But attraction-wise, if a bit don't know me and my accomplishments and how much I accomplish and who I am and what I have, it's like I'm a 55 overall. No badges. No badges. The personality badges don't even work, and I got those. I made me a Tinder account, and... <laughs> Experiment around with my bald head, right? So I deleted all my pics. Listen, quick story time. I deleted all my crispy pics. I mean, you know when you're trying to pull a bitch on Tinder, you got all your crispy pics. You got shit. I got three million subscribers. You know you on her bullshitting around, just trying to get some pussy. I deleted all my crispy pics. I took everything. I cleared my bio. I unmatched with every girl that I was matched with when I had dreads. And let me tell you, I put in my bio, I'm a surgeon. And then I had to put a couple of my car picks, you know, you pull a bitch off the whip. Just to see what's going on. You know, I got to put something on there that looks valuable. So I put a few mm. more car picks on there. My Corvette, Corvette. Who the fuck made that? What the, I heard it was a TikTok. Y'all got TikTok rappers now? What the fuck? I got like songs. I'm like, what was this? Oh, that's that song from TikTok. Like, this is 2021. We living in. People making songs strictly for TikTok now. That's a story for another. But so so listen. On, on, on Tinder, I changed the age range from 19 to 45. That's why, listen, y'all niggas who like, why you got a Tinder? I fuck your mama. I'm <laughs> Why you say it like that? So I changed the age range from 19 to 45. I deleted all the girls I was matched with. Right? So let me tell this you. This shit making my head hurt. So basically. <laughs> So what I, the I fuck is this question? So boost my account so I can so all the, the females can see my it put my account out there. So I want to see how many girls is gonna match with me for me. They don't know I'm so Illuminati. They have no idea. Nigga, you look like goddamn <laughs> Morpheus. Head, you know, I got some pictures with the glasses and shit. And then I got it's it ain't even that bad pics. I'm just I'm just all oh, yeah. It ain't even that bad. So listen. After I did that boost, I pressed it. I boosted the first hour. I ain't gonna lie, I got like two matches. Both from Cougars. And it killed me. Killed Why me. you look disappointed? The first time I actually felt depressed in a long time. Mm -hmm. 
paid five ninety nine and only got two matches, and they said like four hundred girls seen me. And the two matches was from Cougars. So the next day I, I had to wait because I, I ain't gonna lie, it killed me. The the next day I waited and I bought another one. Boom. And this time I got eleven matches. No, this time it was different. Like you gotta understand, I'm bald head. This is new me. This time, I think one of I think like one or two was nineteen. The it was like a couple of was in their twenties. The rest was cougars. It's like my appearance. Like you finna cry. <laughs> No cry, Morpheus. It's okay. <laughs> Look like ball head blade. Obviously, the ones that know me, yeah, they still want to spoil me and do all they can just to show me I'm special. So I went on two dates. The first date, I'm not going into detail because it was the most awkward date I ever went on because it was my first date with a ball head. I ain't gonna lie, I feel powerless with the ball head. When I had dreads, it made me feel like a god, appearance-wise. Because I got long dreads just sitting on my, you know, girls, eh. you can't see my shit, but you, 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 you get a look at it. But now I'm just a bald head, and you know what I'm saying? It's tough. So the, the date, she was like 43, I think. She didn't even fuck with me at all. I just wanted to, I asked her if she wanted to grab some wine. And she said yes. I guess since she that old, them bitches be freaks. She for damn sure wasn't freaky with me. She didn't fuck with me. Killed my spirit. She must have felt my energy. She knew I wasn't that confident. She felt it. She just, she knew. These older women is goddesses. She seen my car. She just knew this nigga is immature. She wasn't buying that surgeon shit. She knew I wasn't a surgeon. You don't look like one. We had some wine. We was drinking some, we was drinking some wine and shit. She was vibing. She was just going with my flow. And she dipped on my ass. She just said, hey, I have to go. Cut me off. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> he slouched down in the chair. <laughs> girl, I think the other girl was 22. I went on another date. This was like, this was like probably like a week after this. And she actually invited me to her crib. She was on my dick. I ain't gonna lie. The young bitches don't care. Ball head and all. She didn't know nothing about Solo Minati. She was, she liked my car, everything. And we was vibing and stuff in nature. Took her to nature. She was a bot too because she walked in nature with a mask on. That's the first violation. And then she was bisexual. So I'm just like, man. But she had spirituality and she was like a little woke. So I just went with the flow. We was talking in nature. She was bad, bro. She was sexy. I had no intentions on loving her, but I wasn't going to tell her. I was just going to treat her like how I treat the rest of these thoughts. Bro, she took me back to her crib. She had her own place, everything. Got in her room. We was on some freaky shit. She always like sipping wine. Girls like sipping wine. Bro, I put her on some wine. She she wasn't even a wine sipper. Put her on some wine and shit. I was she was asking me about my what I do and stuff. I told her I'm a surgeon and stuff, but I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to think about the the blood and you know I'm just making up shit. She, oh, okay, cool. She want to fuck me bad. She feel my energy. She want to fuck me. I let her, you know, I let her rub it through the pants. Mm. Can't too close. It's my kingdom. My flashes came I loose. Fuck. I start playing with her. I start, you know, doing all type of shit, making it seem like we about to do something. Soon as it got to that point, I told her no. What are you? I told her no. Right. So she looked at me like, uh, what you mean? I told her, oh no, I ain't trying to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Killed their spirit. Completely murdered their ego. But her pussy was dripping. You probably looking at it like, bro, why you didn't do? Bro, first of all, she wasn't even like me, bro. Bitch probably would have stole all my energy. She don't deserve my nut, nigga. I'm a fucking god, bro. Are you, did you forget, bitch? I know I'm bald here now. But I got to protect my energy, but nigga. I ain't even have my sage to say, nigga, the bitch. She could, nigga, she could suck a bitch. Put gazer, gay, put gazer, gazer. Put that to the side. Bro, the bitch was a suck a bitch, bro. Or some, bro, she was letting me fuck on the first day, bro. Like, nigga, you got to understand. I don't even want it that easy no more. You get what I'm saying? But I killed her ego. I murdered her. Stole all her energy. When I, when I, when I, when I, when, when she, not murdered her, literally, her ego. I murdered her ego. She felt like she wasn't good enough. 
In reality, I just didn't win a fuck. Girls not used to getting turned down. Right? So I stole all her energy. The next day, it made them want to fuck you that much more. Right? So I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and hit that shit the next day. When you do this, it no when I do this, it normally work. Because they not used to that. This They'll be thinking about you all day. Right? So I'm like, I'm going to play this role on her. The next day, she dripping, right? So the next day, get here. I called her. She cut me off. So she flipped the script on you? Got cut off within a week by two girls. She completely cut me off. I guess she wasn't buying that shit. Told y'all, normally uh, when you play with a girl like that, it makes, they it, it puts you over the tier of regular niggas. Regular niggas are do they eating the pussy on the first day. Me, I just might not even fuck you for the first week. I need to scan you out. I'm gonna just steal you. Right? So she cut me off. Now remember, she bisexual. So I'm lurking. I, I, I got her Instagram. She don't have mine. I told her I don't have it. I got her Instagram. I goes on her story. This motherfucker is chilling. Look at his lips. What the fuck is that? Now, no disrespect to the LGBTQ community at all. Help them with their mental health and shit all the time. But the bit, the dyke looked it like me. Now, now, now. If a girl go gay, right? Because she don't want to fuck with no niggas no more. You go gay and then you date a dyke that look exactly like a nigga. You still like niggas. Like that. You're weird. That's, that's weird. I just, it hurt it. It hurt it. I said, she killed me. She, it's like I'm so vulnerable now. But it hurted me. I'm like, what, what the fuck? The, if the dyke looked it like me. Like, you want to, but do you still like me? You, you can't. Uh, Maybe she got a type. She has a type. She likes bald head. But it looked like me, though. It looked like the old me with dreads. She had her dreads. Oh. She, she looked at exactly like a boy. She probably hooped. I would have dunked on her ass. But I seen that, and it killed me. <laughs> with all that being said. Oh, my God. Life is tough behind closed doors, y'all. Spiritually, I'm free. I mean, I'm showing my flaws and shit. This shit is tough with these bitches. With all that being said, I want y'all to know, I gotta take my anger out on something. Maybe y'all about to get more videos. I need to find some videos I can look at that makes me mad. Sorry. Where'd you get the Blade Trilogy fucking liquor store shades from? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm done with this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.